Stupid Reactions Idiots, I'm Corbin, as with me as always is this, Rick Siegel. <laughs> Dungan. Dungan! <laughs> uh, please follow us on Instagram! Instagram. <laughs> so today, we will be reacting, nope, I do this every time. You do, because reviewing. we've so much for reviewing. <laughs> The film Dungle. Dungle, 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 Dungle. <laughs> it's in my playlist now. Um, so, uh, from that guy who seems to not be able to make a bad movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, Amir uh, Khan. On our, on our trek to watch every Amir Khan film <laughs> ever made, <laughs> <laughs> we have now watched Dungle. And this will be a spoiler review because yes. it's been out. That's all we want to do. So, if you haven't seen it, sorry, go, go away. away. Go watch it, come back. There well, you go. If you haven't seen it, you've why been not? warned. Um, so, and it, I've just realized this. When we come here to do the reactions, neither one of us have talked to each other about what we thought about the film. Mm -hmm. So we're getting each other's perspective at the same time you are. So, yeah. tidbit of information. So, um, Dungle. Dungle. The film about... Uh, true uh, story. A true story right. about a father uh, and uh, who was a very promising uh, star wrestler in India. Who never, never got, got to support. do what he uh, actually wants to do and follow his dreams to Correct. go good because he had to provide and right and didn't get the support that yeah, didn't he get the was hoping he, he would get. was hoping he'd get so right. um, obviously it, it was um, pushed onto him wanting to have a son uh, and carry on his legacy and then so the film obviously Amir Khan would thing I love about him is that every film he does it seems like he has a message. Yeah. A well, big, strong, and multiple messages. Obviously. Right, throughout, but yeah. strong messages. Um, and so this one deeply touched me um, and all that kind of stuff. So what did you uh, think of the film? Yeah, I just I just absolutely loved it. Um, I can, I'm just going to go on and on and on about what's great about the movie. Yeah, uh, Amir Khan seemed to... Um, Hold his skin differently, kind of similar. He's a to, shapeshifter, kind of similar to Daniel Day Lewis. He's a shapeshifter. Uh, He's, he is very quickly becoming one of my favorite actors. Period. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he He's it fantastic. Didn't quite look like Amir Khan to me. No. In fact, when I watched the film, I remember when we watched the trailer and did a reaction to the trailer. It, yeah. And as I'm watching the movie, I literally in my chair, I sat back and I went, "You freak! I didn't even realize till this moment." That was you. Yeah. And when we did the whole transformation reaction thing. Yeah, I'll link that right here. Boom. Uh, the guy is just brilliant. Yeah. He, just brilliant. He didn't have a false moment. And no sign of PK. No. Yeah, no, no sign no. of Rancho. No sign of Just. And to transform himself physically like that. Yeah. Just. And I thought it was such a brilliant <sighs> film directing wise too. Yes. Because. He kind of let the actors do a lot of the work. Yes. Um, and a lot of directors um, kind of like for people to know that this is their medium. Yeah. Well, especially <laughs> he since... He kind of almost sat back and kind of let the story... Come on. Do what it that, did. That was one of the things I was most impressed by. I was consistently watching and thinking, what a brilliant director who is so unselfish mm -hmm. letting this thing... And as, as well as the composer... I would oh, yeah. love to know how they talk together because the score was fantastic, but the score was so unobtrusive. Yeah. And at points where most people would push the score, like during the fight sequences, yeah. they held that back. Yeah. And then used it when it, it was just brilliant directing yeah. and composition. And uh, this is coming from two people who, yeah, you've never wrestled, right? No. You never really watched wrestling either. Not, pr well, no. My, my friend in high school, Jim, he did wrestling, and I know what he went through mm -hmm. doing wrestling and how freaking brutal it is, yeah. and I always watch wrestling when the Olympics but come up, but I, that's it. I'm always concerned when I see <laughs> movies about wrestling. It's yeah. almost like a movie about running. or Right. I mean, it's not as... It's an exciting sport, but it's not as exciting as some other ones. Okay, it could be very boring, or they could heighten it and make it seem more drastic than it yeah. is it's it's a it's it's its own thing 
I'll tell you what. But I'm interested. I would love to watch him wrestling now. Yes. I, I became a fan of it through what, this. Foxcatcher is the last movie we watched yeah. about wrestling. And the wrestling footage and the wrestling training in this was way more interesting mm -hmm. for me. That, not, casting no aspersions on Foxcatcher. But the level of athleticism of everybody, they were 100%, every single person who had to go and wrestle was 100% believable. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was watching real matches. Yeah. It was fantastic. It was, it was quite interesting. And then obviously going to the, the, the best part of the film is the message yeah. about, you know... Um, one, following your dreams, but two, not conforming to what the the world or people around you want you to be. Correct. If you're a girl, you, you, you're worth so much more than just cooking, right. cleaning, making babies, making babies. Right. You have your own life, you have your own dreams, and follow that. Right. Um, and, you know, this father, that one of the best part of the film was the wedding scene. Yes. When you're like, what's what's happening? You're like, oh, they're having a good time. They're gonna get in trouble. This guy's gonna come in, bust right. the balls, and all that kind of stuff. But then the scene after, when she's with the bride, with the bride, mm -hmm. one of the best. How was the acting in that? Oh, so with those great. kids, because you weren't expecting it. No. Uh, that, and that girl who made that little scene, man, and and hats off to Amir Khan because he's the producer. Mm -hmm. So every single thing that was going on, I'm sure he exec produced this thing. He didn't just pay for this. Mm -hmm. I bet he was there and clearly every single... I, I was blown away by that scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that scene was... Uh, any, any tears for you? No. <laughs> I got it. I got... I, I mean, when I say it I touched have you. tears, right. I, it doesn't mean I didn't feel emotional. Of course, I know that. It. Of course. I just don't express myself <laughs> through crying. Yeah, I, um, I bawled openly twice. Oh, I, I figured you would because of obviously this is a film about... Dad and his daughters. Dad and his daughters, and you have two daughters. And yes. I'm sure there was multiple times when... It, obviously, this guy in that scene, the bride scene, when she was like, your dad at least cares about you and yeah. sees you as more than just property, and that was very sweet. Not yeah. that I think... <laughs> all of his fathering was right good right no. <laughs> and it does touch on the, it does touch on how many people make the mistake of trying to force their dream mm -hmm. on their kid yeah so yeah there's that yeah. balance in there he, yeah he he was he was a good father in some aspects hey the dogs dogs are fighting yeah <laughs> Uh, um, there was some good aspects in his, his teaching is like, uh, you can, I want you to have more of a life. I want you to right. be able to pick your husband. I want you to right. be all this kind of stuff. But then <laughs> at the end, even though it was a sweet moment, the first time he had ever said he's proud of them. I know. <laughs> what they'd been waiting for their whole lives. I was like, I mean, yeah, you got them to where they needed to go, but, but you should really tell yeah, your kids you're, you're proud, proud of them before, <laughs> before they win the gold for the first yeah. time in the history of your country. Thanks yeah. for a great and touching film, yeah. but... No, I, I agree. Uh, but yeah, it was the the message was a phenomenal. These two actresses. Oh man, did the girls amazing. Now, the girls were so good. Did the the girls that played them younger were different girls, right? I couldn't tell. That's yeah. how freaking great it was. I'm assuming it was because they only paused production for five months for a mere comment. right, and that's way more than yeah, that's, that's several years. Yeah, several. Years. So the casting was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I I I was like, are they the same girls? Yeah, and I thought it so too. And I was like, no, there's and I we don't have the names up here, but the lady who plays his wife and the mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did great. I had there was one moment where she was on screen and did something, and I I spoke to her as if she was in the room, mm -hmm. and said, "You are beautiful." Mm -hmm. The work that she did mm -hmm. in her eyes it was all so small. Oh, and soft. just obviously gorgeous. It was work. just in support of everybody else. So, yes, but she did it, and that was her job, and that was she did it perfectly. Perfectly, uh -huh. and everybody was believable. Yeah, in was, every role. No, oh, uh, except one. Th there was. And it was a small part. It was at the end when the Australian people, um, yeah. and they, she was on, she was talking to the media. Yeah. Uh, and she was like, I'm glad she's here. I'm happy for her, but I beat her and all this kind of Yeah, it was a little, it, it was, it was a little Drogo I from Rocky Four. I didn't believe them in that. Yeah, that I was got, the only it. time in the film. But I will say about, I was like, this is one, either terrible writing, terrible acting, or I don't know what it is because everything else was real. Right. And I was like, it, maybe that was a real line. That did not seem like a real delivery of it. It seemed like I want to be this heightened villain, could be kind of thing. And so could that's be. one of that's and like, that's one of the only issues I had. Yeah. I also 
I didn't, I mean, I'm used to it now, but I didn't love the musical number in the middle. <laughs> you know I did. But whatever. Yeah. I'm used to it. <laughs> now, when that girl, uh, this, something interesting happened to me in many places throughout the film. When the Australian girl mockingly said namaste, mm -hmm. I got way more offended than I would have <laughs> six weeks ago. Did that happen to you? No. Yeah, it did to me. But I think it's because her acting was bad and I, that was the Yeah, you were disconnected. <laughs> for me, for me, when she did that, I was like, oh no, you didn't. And I realized, oh wow, I took that way more personally than I would have six weeks ago. <laughs> and I, I know there's parts of this that are loosely based. Did the dad truly get locked in a closet? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was wondering if how much the contention of the coach and... Yeah, the, was the coach the really that big of a... Yeah. Yeah. Um, if there was that much contention between them two. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming it was because they had that school part of it that... I would imagine... had to get involved. I, and, yeah, I'm sure his technique differed from their technique and yeah. there was jealousy there. I can't imagine that wasn't there. Yeah. But I want to know, was the dad truly locked in the door and didn't get to see her fight? And I also want to know, did it really come down to a four-point spread that she had to do a five-point throw over to win with 13 seconds or whatever it was yeah, on the cool. clock or was that Hollywood eyes yeah. Bollywood eyes do you know yeah. what I mean yeah if, if that if that's real that's freaking epic <laughs> that's, that's epic that is epic <laughs> the so, whole story anyway was just beautiful man just, yeah I, I I loved it I thought Amir Khan did like I said he was amazing amazing this is my how small favorite you know? yeah and after it, after three idiots he didn't talk a lot yeah after um, three idiots in PK where he's so over the top and how about this scene Oh, and at the school? No, oh. the scene for me, because man, he just, he's so true emotionally. Yeah, he is. When he's standing in front, and I'll get emotional doing it, because of my daughters and everything mm -hmm. else, he's standing in front of the guys, and they're going to kick him out. Yeah. And he, for the first time, says, I'm a crazy father. No, that's what I'm talking about. I, like, yeah, yeah, that's the, yeah, I did this, I did that, and then he's, please. Yeah. I just, he had me. Yeah. He <laughs> totally had me. Um, love him. Yeah, he's, I love Amir Khan. I think he's a brilliant, yeah. brilliant actor. Brilliant actor. Um, kind of, I'm kind of pissed. He doesn't need to come here. No. I mean, why does he need to come here? But it's, it's, it's a shame mm -hmm. that so many people, for everybody we know, <laughs> yeah, doesn't have a freaking clue that this guy is even on the planet. Yeah. It's a shame. Yeah, so uh, I give it an A plus. A plus. Uh, this is my great. Be, I mean, I didn't even notice the the length of the film. It was about two hours forty. Yeah, I didn't. Care. I didn't notice one time in this film. No, nope. I think Yuri was that same way. Uh, I didn't notice. Yeah, but it was it was it was shorter. Yuri, was Yuri, Yuri yeah, shorter? Yuri was a bit shorter than most of the films. Okay. But uh, I agree with you. This yeah. did not feel like almost three hours. No, not uh, at all. You and you were you were in it the whole time. Yeah, uh, and, totally in so, it. Yeah, right up there with all of the great sports films that I love that are from, from America here, like Hoosiers and uh, Remember the Titans and I would love to talk Natural. To, I would love to talk to some wrestling people to see how... Big time. Think, but apparently they had a, a wrestling expert on set to make sure everything was authentic. Knowing, like knowing what should. we're knowing about Amir Khan... It's very clear the man's a perfectionist, mm -hmm. so I'm so. sure every little spot was, un you know, no excuses. It's got to be spot on. Yeah. So, well, thank you so much yeah, for that recommendation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Love what it. else should we watch after this? Yeah. What do you want to see next? Ooh, let us know down in the comment section below. 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 <laughs>